Hi, my name is Frank Gerritano. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Sawanica High School. Um, I'm the assistant principal for 7th, 8th, and 9th grade. I want to formally welcome you to the 7th grade virtual orientation. Uh, in this orientation, you're going to be um, introduced to a number of different people, chair people, teachers. Um, you'll be introduced to people who run clubs, activities, sports. Um, you'll get a lot of information right, based upon what your child will be introduced to as he or she walks into the building. Um, even though we can't formally be together in person at this moment, we look very forward to seeing you. Um, so sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and you know um, I look forward to seeing you in September. Hello and welcome. My name is Mr. Lennigan. I'm the art department chairperson here at Sawanica High School, and I'm going to discuss with you some of the opportunities you have as an incoming Sawanica student. To begin, seventh grade art will not be implemented until the 2021-22 school year. Currently, we are working on creating a wheel system for those seventh graders for the year to come. As of now, seventh grade art will not exist. The first opportunity you will have to take an art course is in um, eighth grade. Following that, you guys will have the opportunity to take uh, art in the high school. Studio art will be your mandated requirement by the state, and that will be the graduation requirement that is necessary for a diploma. Uh, once you've completed that task, you have a number of electives to choose from. You can choose from anything from between photography to sculpture to a numerous of drawing courses we offer, um, digital classes, and even an AP elective. Um, we look forward to seeing you in the coming years and hope that you choose your path in the area of the arts. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at the art department here at Swanica. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to Swanica High School. I am Mrs. LaCastri, chairperson and coordinator for business and technology. We offer one business class for junior high school students in the eighth grade called Computer Essentials. Students learn touch typing keyboarding skills, utilizing intermediate and advanced features of Microsoft Word. Students will also learn how to utilize Google Docs. Interrelated topics integrated into the curriculum are internet safety, cyberbullying, identity theft, and digital leadership. We offer Technology 8 for all students. 
This is an exploratory program of instruction in resources, systems, and impacts of technology that is facilitated through the use of laboratory-based hands-on learning activities. However, when you get to senior high, we have a wide variety of courses available. To name a few, business law, college marketing, college accounting, computer applications, web design, virtual enterprise, personal finance, sports and entertainment marketing, Wall Street and investments, business communications, digital essentials, and Korean financial management. Hope to see you in the future in our courses. Good luck. Oh, hello there. My name is Ms. Stillman, and I am the chairperson of English and Library here at Sawanika High School. Welcome to seventh grade. In English class, you will be reading such classics as Twelfth Night and Of Mice and Men, along with some contemporary short stories, poems, and novels. In your English class, you will have a double period every other day in order to help you develop your fundamental reading, writing, and speaking skills. We are so happy to have you here. Hi, this is Mrs. Aiello. I'm the chairperson of mathematics at Swanica High School. Welcome parents and incoming seventh graders to Swanica. Math at Sawanika starts with learning pre-algebra. Pre-algebra is what gets students ready for eighth grade math. At the eighth grade level, students will take a Regents class, which is the first graduation requirement. So in order to do that, we are so fortunate that our seventh graders get math instruction every day, but every other day they get an additional period of math to help let them explore and learn and deepen their understanding in mathematics. I want to welcome you again to Swanica High School, and I'll see you next year. Hello, my name is Mr. Darty. I'm the chairperson of music for Swanica High School. Back in November, we were fortunate enough to have many of you come to our first ever sixth grade concert where the band, orchestra, and chorus put on a performance for everyone. You guys were a wonderful audience, and we really had a lot of fun. Next year, when you come up to Sawanica High School, uh, for those of you who are performing, the three options are band, orchestra, or chorus. Uh, the band directors are myself and Mr. Duke. The choral director is Mrs. Deloya, and the orchestra director is Mrs. Cheng. These ensembles meet on an alternating day basis and also get together for combined rehearsals for a winter concert and a spring concert. We also have lessons where we focus in on the specifics of different instruments such as flute, clarinet, saxophone, cello, or sopranos, altos, tenors, or basses, and all the other instruments in the band and the chorus and the orchestra. We also have a musical that is open to seventh graders by audition. Generally, the auditions are in um, November and the musical is uh, goes up in March with dress rehearsals and the performance in March. Uh, for students who are not performing, we have general music classes that we offer, which are also on an alternating day basis where you learn about different composers, uh, the basics of music, and also use uh, MIDI programs uh, such as GarageBand on your iPads. So that's a basic overview of the music department. We have a lot of fun. We, the performances are a lot of fun, and uh, so are the classes and rehearsals. And we look forward to seeing everyone next year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pauline Reese, and I'm the chairperson of science at Sawanica High School. In this video, I will discuss the science classes 7th and 8th grade students will take and the various clubs and science activities they can participate in. All 7th graders will take Integrated Advanced Science. This class incorporates a a various aspects of biology, chemistry, and physical science, as well as the interactions between them. 
This course is designed to maintain and exceed the level of rigor and enrichment needed for each student to learn scientific concepts at the highest possible level. Following Integrated Advanced Science, students will take 8th grade Regents Living Environment. This is a course necessary for graduation. Every day, students will have Living Environment Lecture. Every other day, they will have Lecture and a Lab Period. Students will take the Living Environment Regents Exam in June. Sawanaka offers both Junior High and Senior High research. For Junior High research, 7th, 8th, and 9th graders meet for Class Zero Period every other day. They will learn and practice the basic lab techniques that can be used when conducting scientific research. Students will work on and complete a project that they will use to compete one, at one or two science competitions throughout the year. Please email me if your child is interested in taking science research. The Sawanaka Science Showcase is a really fun event that takes place every year in the student cafeteria. Many different activities take place. Junior high research students present their projects that they will compete with during the year. All junior high students are able to attend and participate in this really, really fun event. Please feel free to email me if you have any questions. Thank you so much for listening. Take care. Hi, I'm Kristen Kelly, the Social Studies Chairperson at Sawanaka High School, and I would like to officially welcome you and your children to our incredible school. We post various information, but what I'm going to share with you here is the course offering menu for the 2020-2021 school year. Now this is available for you to access on the website and read in a little bit more depth, but I really just wanted to take a moment to go through the New York State core requirements for all students. So upon entering seventh grade with us at Sawanaka, your son or daughter will be taking social studies grade seven for one full year. Then they will move on to social studies grade eight for one full year. If you have any questions at any point, don't hesitate to reach out. My email address is kkelly at sawanakaschools.org and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. And again, welcome to Sawanaka. Hi class of 2026, congratulations on graduating elementary school and welcome to Sawanaka. My name is Mrs. Ritchie and I am the special education chairperson. Here at Sawanaka, we offer various levels of support through special education. This includes resource room, integrated co-teach services, special classes, and related service supports as well. By now, I may have already met some of you and your families, and your programs have been discussed and determined at your CSE meetings with your sixth grade teachers earlier this spring. Welcome once again, and I am so looking forward to getting to know you and meeting you in September. Hello, let me introduce myself to you I'm Mrs. Acevedo, Chairperson of World Languages, and I welcome you, 7th graders, to this wonderful school. As a 7th grader, you will be taking the first half of the curriculum. So you will be taking French, Italian, and Spanish, or Spanish. And then, in 8th grade, you'll be taking the second half of the curriculum. That will grant you one credit mandated by the New York State educational department. This is the minimum in order for you to graduate from high school. However, we recommend uh, you to take uh, studies up to the level fourth or fifth. This is a recommendation that doesn't come from us. If you have plans to attend college, there is a college requirement. And that means that you either pursue your studies in a language here in high school or you need to do it in college. But we will have plenty of time to discuss this in our future meetings and correspondence. So I welcome you and welcome to Sawanika High School. Hi, my name is Mrs. Chefo and I'd like to welcome the incoming seventh grade to Sawanika High School. It's my pleasure to introduce you to one of the elective classes that you'll be taking, which is our Family and Consumer Sciences 7. Here you will embark on life lessons that put decision making and problem solving into each skill learned. You'll look at topics such as self-evaluation and goal setting, some career exploration, 
money management, nutrition, and some an introduction to food preparation. This is a class that will give you an introduction to things that you can take later on in your elective areas, and we look forward to meeting you as you share some of your academic day with us. Thank you very much, and Welcome to Sawanica, everyone. I'm Marilyn Hayward, Chairperson of Pupil Personnel Services. I welcome you all. I know you're excited to start the school year, but I just want you to know that there are individuals that you need to meet in order to know that we are in a partnership with you and the Pupil Personnel Services Department will make sure that we do everything we can to make sure that your transition is smooth. So right now we will go over who's part of the Pupil Personnel Services Department. I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to the members of the Pupil Personnel Services Department, or PPS for short. We have the clinical team, two psychologists, Dr. Bergen, Ms. Perlaza, and also two social workers, Ms. Ramdiel and Mrs. Grzynski. We have guidance counselors, Mr. Brazil, Ms. Elias, Mr. Hutter, Mrs. O'Toole, Mr. Racanelli, Ms. Ricks, and Ms. Sola. We also have a speech pathologist, which is part of our team, and that is Ms. Elaine Arnold. We have our health office, comprised of our school nurses, Mrs. O'Rourke, Mrs. Dillon, and Mrs. Green. We also have the attendance office, Mr. Whitmer and Mrs. Dunnigan. Our secretarial support staff is comprised of Ms. Panurello, Ms. Nirvana, and Ms. Arnold. Hi, my name is Carol Orris, and I've been the psychiatrist for the Salonica Central High School District for the past 30 years. I work with all five of our high schools to provide guidance and support for our students and ongoing learning for our staff. Ours is a district that cares deeply not only about the academic success of our students, but also about their social and their emotional well-being. Your children are not only entering a new school district as well as the start of seventh grade, but they are also entering their adolescent years. While we often read and hear about the many negative aspects of adolescence and how as parents we all need to collectively survive this stormy period in our children's lives, we don't acknowledge nearly enough the incredible opportunity, creativity, learning, and passions that often define adolescence. It is a time of excitement and challenges but even those challenges present opportunities to develop resiliency for adulthood. Teenagers have an opportunity to thrive and develop a blueprint for success in their adult years. So let me briefly share with you some tips that might help you as parents to optimize the success for your children as they navigate these very important years. First, and this may come as a surprise to you, your children need you now more than ever. Well, yes, of course they needed you when they were young, but they still need you, perhaps even more. Their brains are rapidly changing with the onset of puberty, and this makes them much more prone to risk-taking. Their brains are wired to be more attuned to the excitement and the rewards rather than to the risks of their decisions. It's not that they're impulsive or have poor judgment, it's just that they place more importance on the excitement of their decisions. At the same time, the part of the brain that puts the brakes on poor decisions and emotionality is not fully developed yet, so teens need more external controls than we realize. And those external controls often need to come from parents. So try to have conversations with your teenager. Find out more about their lives. Try not to judge. Tell them why you have rules and explain your thinking to them. And try to offer guideposts for the expectations and the beliefs that you value. 
In addition, adolescence is a time when the brain is doing a good deal of housekeeping, getting rid of skills that are not used and strengthening those that get used a lot. This means that encouraging your teenager to pursue an interest, a hobby, even a musical instrument can lead to great accomplishment. Parents need to support the strengthening of these developing brains. And that certainly applies to education, now more than ever. Teens are poised to soak up knowledge and to use critical thinking skills to develop higher order thinking. They need encouragement to fully engage in their education and to accept academic challenges. The more that we can encourage our teens to pursue positive interests and challenges, the less likely they will seek out negative risk taking. Parents need to stay involved in and connected to their child's school and learn about all of the amazing opportunities that we offer your child. And lastly, if your child encounters any difficulty along the way, our staff are always ready to help with support, counseling, and evaluation and planning. I really do hope that some of these tips have been helpful to you. We are all looking forward to this new, exciting phase of your child's life, and we're so excited to be on this journey with you. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Farina and I'm a Spanish teacher here at Sawanica High School. I'm also the Director of Student Activities, so I'd like to take this opportunity to talk to you about some of the clubs that we have to offer, as well as some other important information about the upcoming school year. We offer over 60 clubs to our students. To name a few, we have the Art Club, the Chess Club, the Drama Club, Mathletes, Robotics, Cheerleading, and Sewing Club, and many more. Please check the school calendar for our annual club fair that is held in the fall. All of the clubs will be on display and members from each club will be available to answer any questions that you may have. You can also find a complete list of all of our clubs on the school website. One of the most important clubs for you to join is 7th grade class board. All 7th grade students are welcome to join and help make decisions about homecoming, spirit day, and other events that are held throughout the school year. Your class advisors will be Mr. Hurley and Mr. Reagan. You will be receiving information from them in the fall about class dues. Seventh grade class dues are $10, and you will continue to pay class dues for all six years that you are at Sawanica High School. These dues are used to offset the costs of participation in Homecoming and Spirit Day, as well as to help fund your yearbook, cap and gown, and other school-related activities while you are a student here at Sawanica. I strongly encourage you to use 7th grade as a time to explore the many clubs and sports that we offer. Take the time to find the ones that interest you the most. And as you move on to higher grades, select a few that you can dedicate yourself to. The time flies when you're here, and before you know it, you'll be in 11th grade exploring colleges and career paths. Colleges today are not only interested in how you achieve academically, but also how involved you are in your school. They want to see that you're a well-rounded student that is able to challenge yourself academically while remaining involved in your school community. I look forward to seeing you in the fall. Welcome to Sawanica. Good afternoon, incoming seventh grade class. My name is Mr. Niven. I'm the athletic director here at Sawanica High School and also the chairperson of physical education and health. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the school. Uh, after the um, a little bit of a bump of the road with the coronavirus for the spring, we want to get ready to get back for an exciting year here at Swanica High School. This being your first time in, this, in the high school, we want to make it as an easy transition for you. Um, we have several sports teams as, as well as we have clubs that I definitely suggest that you do something after school. Uh, getting involved in a sport will get you very uh, well acclimated to the surroundings in the building and uh, get you on, on pace to be in a scheduled, uh, a scheduled day for yourself. Sports we have are football, soccer, cross country, field hockey, wrestling, basketball, um, winter track. We also have in the spring baseball, softball, track and field. And we also have some other district teams such as uh, bowling, riflery, and golf. And we also do have a swim program. 
So we look forward to seeing you in September when we're back to school and you'll hear plenty more information then. Again, enjoy the rest of the summer and we'll see you in September. Thank you. Hi parents, this video is to show you how you will sign up and register for Parent Portal. Parent Portal is the way you will access your students' report cards and progress reports in the future. The first step is to go to the school district's website. You will go to sawanicaschools.org on your browser and once you do that you'll be led to the school district's homepage which looks like this. Once you're there you want to click on the parents slash students tab at the top of the page. When you do that, a drop down menu will appear and then you'll click on the link Parent Portal. Once you do that, you'll be led to the Parent Portal login page. In the future, this is where you will go to sign in so you could check uh, all your report cards and progress reports for your student. But before you can do that, you have to register for your Parent Portal account. Underneath login, is the link for parent portal registration. So if you click on that, you're led to the registration page. And there's three steps to registering for your parent portal account. You have account information, which is step one. Step two is personal information. And then the last step is student information. For step one of the parent portal registration, you'll have to fill out your account information. Before you complete the information, on this part, I recommend that you write down or save your username and password that you create for Parent Portal so you don't lose it in the future. First, you'll have to put in the school district. As you start typing in Sawanica, it should pop up in the drop down menu. So you can click on Sawanica from the drop down menu. Then you're going to create a username. The username is what you're going to use in the future to log into the portal. So once you select a username you're going to use, you're going to put in your email address. And then you're going to have to confirm your email address. So you'll just type in the same thing as you did before. The next part is to create a password. The password has to be a minimum of six characters with at least one number in it. And then the final step for the account information is to pick an authentication question from the drop down menu and then write in an answer. This is to help you with password retrieval in case you forget what your password is. It will ask for an authentication question and answer. So you can pick any one of the questions and then just put in the answer to that question. Once you do that, you can click on create account information at the bottom and it will lead you to step two. For step two of parent portal registration, you're going to be filling out your personal information. This is gonna be your information and not the student's information. So the first part is to put your first and last name in. And then after that, you have to put in your address. For street address, it's very important that you don't abbreviate street or avenue or road. You have to write the word out completely. So you can't put ST for street. You have to write out the full word or else the uh, parent portal system doesn't recognize the address. After you fill out the street address, you're going to put in the city and then click the drop down to pick New York for the state and after that you'll put your zip code. The final part for the personal information is to put in your phone number. This phone number will be the one that is on the school records that they will use to contact you so please put in a phone number that you use often. It can be your cell phone or your house phone. Once you fill out all that information and make sure it's all correct you can hit create personal information 
and it will lead you to step three of the registration process, student information. The final step in the parent portal registration is to put in the student information. First, you're gonna put in the student ID number. This is a nine digit number found on the student's schedule. After you put that in, you're gonna put their first and last name. And then you're gonna put in what school they are attending. You can select the drop down menu and pick Sawanica High School. And then you have to select what grade level they'll be in. If you are registering and creating your parent portal account before the end of July, you're going to select grade six. And if you are doing your account creation after the end of July, you're gonna select grade seven. The student information isn't uploaded by the district until the end of July. So all the information will have the student as a sixth grader before they do it. Once you put in all that information, you're gonna hit add student to the above list right under where it says school. And then on the, in the bottom right hand corner, you're gonna hit finish registration. Hi, Mr. Giratano again. Uh, I wanna thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you had gotten a lot of information. Um, if you should need um, any, if you should have any questions, please feel free to email me. Um, have a great summer, be safe, and hopefully we will see you in September.